tried to go in after my dog. He held the gun still towards me, told me to get away from my dog. She could have been saved after that first shot, but no, he had to continue to shoot her. This has rattled so many people I know. That's Tammy Kearns there, sharing her experience of watching a Lorraine police officer shoot and kill her dog, Dixie. Well, just hours ago, Kearns and a number of supporters rallied for justice for Dixie in front of the city's police department. Danielle Wiggins was there. She joins us live from the newsroom. So I, I know, Danielle, there's some new information, too, about that officer that was involved. Yes, Christy, that officer is now on administrative leave pending the outcome of an internal investigation. And Dixie's family and their supporters are calling for him to be fired. Hey, Pope! Palmer's gotta go! Hey. Justice for Dixie! Calls for justice through tears of pain. We cannot label the whole group because of one bad person. We love you, Dixie. Let's keep this positive and meaningful. In the heavenly Father's name, we pray, amen. 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 Tammy Kearns and her daughter Brittany say Kearns' dog, Dixie, was not being aggressive when she approached Officer Elliot Palmer Sunday afternoon, and that Officer Palmer should not have shot Dixie multiple times. And what this man did was heartless and it was cruel, but if you are so afraid of a yellow lab, then you should not be a police officer. Animal activist Mike Smack organized today's rally with the family. He worked to get Nitro's law passed in the state in 2013. That law makes animal abuse inside a kennel a felony. He says when he saw the body camera footage of Officer Palmer shooting and killing Dixie, it made him upset. I think it's a, a crime that the owners were not able to go over and console Dixie, and Dixie died alone. You know, that's... That's terrible. Lieutenant Jacob Morris from the Lorraine Police Department was on hand to offer condolences. <laughs> the family says Friday's rally is all about making sure this never happens again, so another family will not have to experience their pain. Regardless of the situation, they're dealing with a loss of a family member. And, uh, and you know, it, it's, it hurts to even say that, uh, that we were involved in that. Now, a representative from Lorraine's police department told me Officer Palmer is a young officer who has only been on the force two to three years. Kern says she still plans to sue the department if, quote, justice is not served. And, Christy, there is a vigil planned for Dixie this Sunday at noon in front of Kearns' home. Good to know. Danielle Wiggins reporting from the newsroom for us. Danielle, thank you.